Hey guys, I'm MonkeyBoy1236, and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today, we're going to do a Christmas run from Utah to Nevada, but do believe. Yeah, Nevada. It's going to take a little bit. It, I don't know why, it says zero time remaining, so I don't understand that. But, but this is the new Lone Star, I just bought it. Um, right before I picked up the trailer. I like the color. There's a different color I wanted to put on it, but I didn't want to pay the tw like 20 grand for it. So we're gonna use that. Oh, this is an automatic. I'm gonna go this way. I wasn't going to, but. I think my wheel's broken, to be honest with you. No, it's not. Finding a new route. If you guys hear my wheel in the background, I do apologize. I'm trying to go slow because this is gravel or dirt on the game, so when it's dirt in the game, it uh, shakes the wheel quite a bit. Turn this off now. I hope everyone's enjoying their Sunday morning. December 22nd. Hope you guys are ready for Christmas. Christmas is just coming up. It's crazy. Hope everyone's enjoying some family time and all of that. Having some good food and hanging out. Maybe some good drinks too, if that's something you like to do. <laughs> Sorry, this part's taking so long. I, I should have started recording when I was on the bottom of this. Didn't think about it, but I'll show you the outside view. This is the presents. This one, gifts, as you, they would call them. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Wasn't expecting that. stop a little shorter. Hope it ever... Yep, as you guys can see, I have the snow mod in here. Uh, this is like the second time I've used it. Before I played the game using it. I like it. It's pretty cool. It's something different than the rain. Caution, please mind the speed limit. Go straight on. He's asleep soon too. How big? Never seen the back of this. Okay.
Woo. I have this uh, winter mod in here. Uh, not not the one the snow one, but I have another one that makes stopping harder. How much do I weigh? Well, 43,500. Okay. Not too much. Not too bad. Only thing I don't like about the roundabouts in this game. Uh, seems like they, they get stuck a lot. Or they, like, hit stuff. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this one. Yes, I know I'm hitting the truck with the car behind me, but they're stuck, so. Get ready to turn right. Make a trail. Turn the truck. right. Keep right and then turn right. It's probably real, pretty realistic for turn Utah right. this time of year. Probably snowing pretty good over there right about now. I don't know, I don't live in Utah. I'm not really sure. Go straight on. If there's any other videos you guys like to see, any different, t maybe, maybe not American Truck Simulator, maybe something else, just let me know in the comments below. I can't damn can't see ones like that. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. Go straight on. Sorry, I'm pretty quiet today. It's just right. I don't have a lot on my mind, so. But hope everyone enjoys the the game and, and stuff. <laughs> I'm pretty new to YouTube too, so. My videos are not gonna be the greatest, but I will get better hopefully. It's 
in game it's been snowing for like two days. I believe this truck is a 10 speed, but I don't remember the transmission. I believe that's what I did. I didn't change it because I think it started as a 10 speed. Keep left. Yes, yeah, so I probably shouldn't be driving this fast in the snow. But this is also a video game, and uh, sometimes in video games I drive a little faster <laughs> than I should. Has if anyone's ever played this game with a keyboard and mouse, let me know. I would like to know actually, because I don't know anyone who has. Keep right, and then exit right. Be crazy for this game with Exit keyboard and right. mouse though. Woo. Be rough. I used to play this game with a controller before I got my wheel set up. Even that's not that bad, but I mean, and really, I mean, it's it'll do if you don't if you can't get a wheel set up or you uh, don't have a wheel set up. It'll do, but the wheel set was preferred. It is more realistic, obviously. Ooh, eight thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, my driver just made some money. Probably need to upgrade my transmission. I believe this is a ten speed. I'm almost positive. Since it's a 10 speed, I'm only going 61. And it's like red line a little bit, so probably will upgrade it. Maybe after this run. Hundred and ninety four miles ago. Oh, it's not too bad. I do I was I will say this. The snow makes it this game a little bit better. I'm gonna only have it for probably the month of December, probably month of January. February, I'll probably start taking it out. So, but I'm not gonna always leave it on. I, I turned on the snow probability really high, just because I wanted to see it. I've never actually played with this mod up until the other day. Um, I didn't make a video of it, actually. Oops, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Shouldn't have done that, but only three percent sounds too bad.
unless it's getting that close to the car. No, I don't drive like this in real life, if anyone was asking. I do in video games, because to me, video games is meant to have fun, and sometimes driving fast and speeding and stuff is fun in a game. Stop. Oh, no, nope, we're good to go. Oh, it looks like somebody had an accident. And FedEx got pulled in. Coca-Cola. Ooh, road work up ahead. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. I should probably break. I forgot they slow down a lot in, in uh, construction zones. Hey, we're in Nevada, or about to be. I sometimes wish the construction zones were a little bit longer. Because it seems like, you know, you see one, you get over, you break a little bit, slow down, stop, whatever. And then you're past it within a couple seconds. Because over here where I live, shoot, construction zones on the freeway, they're like 10 miles, if not longer, if not longer than that. This truck, though, it's a really nice truck. Huh? Is that for for your uh, uh, SES model truck? It's actually one of my favorite ones. It looks really good. I like the way it sounds. I even like the Jake brake sound, which is surprising because normally SES Jake brake sounds aren't that good. But it's a good truck. It really is. I like it. It's different too. It's this truck I in in one real life. I hardly ever see this truck. I've seen this truck maybe twice in real life. One was at a dealership, and the other one was on the road. So it's a truck that you don't really see very often. They're super expensive in real life. They're like uh, I think just for like the base sleeper, I think it's like one hundred fifty thousand dollars. I want to say, but I'm not one hundred percent sure. I don't know about you guys, but 150 grand for a vehicle is quite a bit. I know I understand it has a sleeper and all that, but still. 
He has two hours of sleep, but I have an hour until I get there. No, he's gonna stay awake until then, I guess. Be cutting it close. A lot of traffic out here. What the hell? Sorry guys, my my fan in this room just turned on. Uh, I didn't turn it on. Because it's over in the corner. Sorry guys, sorry I had to pause it really quick. While it's paused, I gotta check something as well. Okay, sorry about that. That noise, I was wondering what that noise was. At first I thought it was something else. Now it's really weird. I don't know how it turned on. There's no remote to it. I have a computer room and I have a fan in there. Sometimes it gets a little hot during the summer. And uh, for some reason, the fan it's plugged in. It's always been plugged in, but it's to the corner. And for some reason, the fan actually turned on. Like turned on, then turned off, then turned on. Probably gonna get a penalty for avoiding sleep. Forty one miles home. Yeah, an hour to sleep. straight on. getting tired oh no I, I think they did a pretty good job of fall, like on the game where you uh if you fall asleep the screen goes black almost hit that car even though I was braking the entire time I want to wrap this episode up after the end of this episode. Uh, 
sorry. Why when we dropped this off, the trailer. And it's a little bit longer than I want it to be, but that's okay. Since I'm stuck at the way station, I'm going to pass all these people. Tanker truck. I haven't drove a tanker truck in a while. That's part of the reason why I don't have a trailer. Like, I own trailers. I have eight trailers. I uh, have my other drivers use them. There's only one they don't use because I marked it as private. But the reason why I don't use trailer, I don't really use my own trailer very often, is because sometimes I miss like doing like the fuel tankers and stuff like that. And I haven't. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I haven't seen a mod for like the tanker, the ownable tankers or anything like that. Keep right. That little message you guys saw pop up. Turn left. Hopefully you guys didn't see. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna run this red light. Because if I don't, God. So this is not the best video I've ever done. Sorry guys, I I honestly wasn't paying attention. Why is he stopped at home? How did I run a red light? It was yellow when I went through. It was even. It was still green when I went through it. Caution, please mind the speed limit. Keep right and then turn Get a little outside right. camera. Whoa. That's that's unusual. That shouldn't even happen. Turn though. right. I don't know why it's doing that. And the funny thing is, it didn't start doing this until after the update came out. Cool, I just lost textures. I'm gonna go ahead and edit, end this episode now because for some reason I, I'm losing textures, but I don't know why. When I got the update for uh, international, for the internationals being here, so as soon as I got that update, I started doing that. But uh, hope you guys like, uh, subscribe, comment, and like. Um, thank you. Thanks for watching.